What should you expect when migrating to an Imperium Kingdom? What will an Imperium Kingdom expect from you? But first of all, do you even meet the requirements to join an Imperium Kingdom? This is going to be the topics of this video. I want to give you the full details regarding it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video, this is Bole Gerani and today I'm going to talk about Imperium Kingdoms and where I'm going to migrate next. Despite the live streams and all the videos that I, I have done and I have talked about it, where I am migrating next, apparently I do have to say it. So I am going to Kingdom 1556 as mentioned, they are about to finish the KVK and Monday they will be open for migration. People will be able to immigrate into 1556 alongside other Imperiums and that's where I will be going Monday from this video which means 11th of July 2022 just in case you're watching this video on a later date. If you want to join me then definitely contact 1556 leadership and make sure you meet the requirements to join them because this should be the first thing that we need to talk about it and i want to talk in general about all the imperium kingdoms or mostly the imperium kingdoms that everybody knows them as being like all-time imperiums 1254 1556 um, 1093 you have 1365 1846 all these imperium this well-known and old imperium this will always be imperium because they have a solid core of members which they do not fall just because a loss of a kvk or two losses of a kvk and this has been proven uh, in many kvks that the core members are still there and they are still kicking so what are the requirements to join an imperium kingdom as long as you are under 65 million power any of the imperium kingdoms will welcome you without any problems because as you click on any kingdoms you see there is a power requirement same season immigration power cap is set to 35 million now this power cap can be set to 65 million which means that anybody under 65 million can join an imperium kingdom right now all the imperium kingdoms when they are in kvk the most of the times during the kvk they lose so many troops that they drop imperium so this is how they can set the 65 million requirement and everybody that is under 65 million will be able to join them and will not affect the power cap of the top 300 and they will not join Imperium. So as many as possibly can under 65 million, they are all welcome. And as long as you stay under 65 million or you are under 65 million, there is no requirements. Either you just want to farm barbs, you just want to kill 500,000 troops. But the moment you go over 65 million, then requirements are being expected from you, either kill points wise, troop death wise. So, for example, if you are a T4 player and you just want to join an Imperium because you watch so many streams, so many videos, and you saw the activity in Imperium Kingdoms, and that's something that you really want to experience, then you're welcome to join any Imperium Kingdoms. 100% they will welcome you. Just remember, if you ever go over 65 million power, they will expect certain things from you. I'm just taking this kingdom as an example because it is Imperium. For example, 1556 uh, where I'm going, it is not Imperium. 1254, they also dropped out of Imperium. And there is many other well-known Imperium kingdoms that will eventually drop Imperium as well. Probably even 1846 will drop Imperium. 1365, 100% they will drop Imperium, they are still fighting, and various other kingdoms, uh, possibly 1034, 1960, 1307, all these well-known Imperiums, that there is a, a huge list of them, they will drop Imperium. So every now and then, fresh people will come to these kingdoms. Right now, the power cap for 1556 is set to 25 million, but once the migration is open, 100% will be set to 65 million, and it will stay like that for a while. So as many people as possible to join the kingdom. After that, it will be the players who are over 65 million. They will uh, rearrange the cap. So if you are over 65 million, to meet the requirements to join an Imperium Kingdom, you should have a certain amount of dead troops, you should have a certain amount of kill points, and depending on the power, 
this can be increased. So the higher the power you have, the more kill points they are expecting, the more dead they are expecting from you. Because you can't be 150 million power and have 4-5 million dead. They will definitely say no. As I was already mentioned throughout the video, during the KBK, all these well-known Imperiums, they usually lose so many troops that most of the times they want to drop Imperium, which means that they are expecting you to be one of those players that will sacrifice and go on the 65 million mark. So if you're not one of those whales that is four, 500 million power, 300 million power, that when you get your troops back, you will be 150 plus anyway. So they won't expect those players to, to be zeroed. But if your power will be under 150 million when your troops come back, then they are expecting you to go under 65 million. There is quite big requirements and there is um, a lot of things to take in consideration when you want to join an Imperium Kingdom. Now, what should you expect from an Imperium Kingdom? First of all, you should expect amazing fighting because the activity is hyper. There is so much activity during fighting that this is the most attractive point of the Imperium. The second, it is um, the competition. There is a lot of players that go there for competition, either for Lost Canyon, either for 20 Sculptures event, Mightiest Governor event, uh, Lohar event, whichever kingdom event, there is a competition. So if you're looking for that, then Imperium Kingdoms are for you. The third, what you can expect from the Imperium Kingdom, it should be daily alliance activities. Either you get gold chests, so you can complete those crystal chests, or you get daily activities as players are doing a lot of forge as possible to complete as many chests as possible so you can replenish your speed ups. What you can also expect from Imperium Kingdoms, it is great leadership, amazing coordination on the battlefield, wars, especially during wartime, everything to be so well arranged, coordinated, well placed, not necessary during the field fighting, but in the home kingdom as well, because that's what Imperium Kingdoms do. There is such a well-placed system on these Imperium Kingdoms that will enhance your gaming experience. Now, what the kingdom will expect from you, I already mentioned a couple of things. If you're under 65 million, then they won't expect anything. But as long as you're above 65 million, then they're expecting you to feel fight a lot they're expecting you to lose troops and they're expecting you to almost zero yourself is if it's needed for the kingdom my advice is you should experience imperium kingdoms what you need to take in consideration imperium kingdoms usually fight other imperium kingdoms and what is that meaning a lot of max tech players so if you're a free to play player your crystal tech will be low your equipment will be low so when you're fighting those max deck players you should not expect a lot of good trades which means that the kingdom expects you to feel fight a lot which means you, that you have to spend a lot of time on your farms because you have to farm to have the resources to have the speed ups as well so you need to be active to get the speed ups resources so you can have for your field fighting even if you're not enjoying the trades and the reports. You just enjoy the activity and you don't really care. Then you're also welcome to lose your troops if that's something that you want. You just want to enjoy those couple of hours of rallies while keep joining and leaving, keep joining and leaving. Then the Imperium Kingdoms are for you. Competition is also welcome as Imperium Kingdoms can definitely offer you that. Now, again, I just picked 2044 as an, as an example. All the well-known Imperium Kingdoms, people already know them. As I already mentioned, a couple of them through this video. So, what are you waiting for? Choose your favorite Imperium Kingdom and um, let's meet on the battlefield because I plan to stay in Imperium Kingdoms, well-known Imperium Kingdoms, and I don't plan to move anywhere else from here. Which means that there is a very high chance that I will meet a lot of you if you are in Imperium Kingdoms on the battlefield. And we might just clash a little bit, have a little bit of fun. Let me know in the comment section below 
what do you think should you join an imperial kingdom or stay in your a b c d type of kingdoms and just enjoy low level fighting until next time this is your boy and ronnie signing off peace out here and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there my friends Thank <laughs> you.